tayo sa royalties and prices. Okay? Some source of passive royalties, no? Nandiyan dyan ang books, literary works, and other musical compositions. So, meaning the individual is subject to 10% final tax. Yung corporations naman, they are subject to 20% final tax. And some other sources, they are subject to 20% final tax. Ganun din ang corporation. Okay. Now, uh, like for example, ako, no? Nag-sulat kasi ako ng book which is Newbie. Yung stock market para sa stock market. So, lahat ng royalties na nareceive ko is they are less than percent already. Okay? They are subjected to final tax. Now, what about royalties on cinematographic films and similar works na binayaran sa non-resident alien engaged in trade or business, non-resident alien not engaged in trade or business, or non-resident foreign corporation? Like what I have said, at this time, they are subjected to 25%. Ito yung medyo nagkaroon ng iba sa non-resident alien. Okay? Engage in trade or business. Kasi naging subject din siya sa 25%. Now, for preferential royalty, okay, on books and printed literatures, but naka-e-copy siya, digital. Okay? Naging digital din yung e-book mo. Okay? Dun sa digital, subject siya sa Final tax, 25%. Pero kung yan ay preferential royalty sa printed, papasok siya sa 10% final tax. Okay? Tatandaan yun. Okay. For the prices, may exempt from income tax or subject to final tax or regular income tax. So, meron tayong exemption. Ang exempt prices, meron tayo dyan requisites. No? So, this is without any action to enter in the contest, not required to render substantial future services as a condition to receiving the prize or reward. So, meaning exempt yan. Wala kang ginawang paghihira para makapasok doon. Okay? Like Nobel Prize Awards, uh, Magsaysay Awards, no? lahat ng awards na wala kang ginawa. Now, uh, punta naman tayo sa exceeding 10,000 they are subject to regular tax and corporation subject to regular tax. Okay? So, ibig sabihin kung ang prices hindi tumaas sa 10,000, regular tax yan. Kung ang prices ay nag-exceed naman sa individual, 20% ka. Pero ang corporation, laging pasok sa regular tax. Tandaan, ang corporation, kung yan ay prices, Pasok sa regular tax lagi, whether exceeding or not. Punta tayo sa winnings. For individual income taxpayers, winning received from source within the Philippines are generally subject to 20% final tax. Okay? So, lahat ng winnings mo, subject yan, pero meron tayong exemption. That is the PSO or Lotto winnings amounting to 10000 or less. Okay? Similar to prices, there is no final tax imposed on corporate winnings. Now, for the train law, they are totally exempt. But now, subject na rin siya sa final tax kung nag-exceed sa 10,000. Now, CSO low to winnings not exceeding 10,000 is exempt for individual, exempt for corporation. Kung nag-exceed sa 10,000, subject ka na sa 20% final tax para sa individual and corporation. Now, other winnings in general, they are subject to 20% final tax and sa corporation is regular tax. Okay. Now, etong tax rules kasi ng PCSO or Loto winnings, they are applied on a per ticket basis. So, kung laging nananalo yung ticket mo, lagi ka rin merong tax kung more than 10,000. Okay? Sa non-resident alien engaged in trade or business or non-resident foreign corporation, regardless of the amount, they are respectively subject to 25% final tax and 30% final tax or 30% final tax 
informers rewards. Okay, this is the amount of cash reward, whichever is lower of the following case. 10% of revenues, charges, so charges or fees, or fine or penalty imposed and collected. Or the 1 million reward limit. Okay, pag ikaw ay nagsumbong, okay, sa authority, sa BIR, na merong mga mali sa isang company, sa kanilang tax, Returns, so magkakaroon ka ng Tax Informers Reward. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.